Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. The intro about myself, uh, I'm having years of IT experience and nine years of professional training experience into SAP BI tools starting from SAP digital reports, SAP business objects, SAP BW, SAP bots and SAP uh, no, business objects uh, 4.x, SAP, SAP business objects 3.x and currently into SAP analytics cloud. This is a quick introduction about myself. Uh, wherein I was part of uh, SAP and non-SAP uh, okay, based uh, product implementations and supports and uh, currently I'm working on SAP Analytics Cloud uh, for the past few months. I mean, <clears throat> and this is in brief about myself. So I just want to okay uh, go ahead from Rivan so that uh, I just want to have a quick introduction so that I can have a better presentation of SAP Analytics Cloud starting from Alex, I hope uh, could you start up uh, from your side, your end. Sorry, yeah, it, it's uh, sorry, it's Abhi now. Go start with Abhi now, and we we'll go with Alex and Lane. Yeah. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, I am. Uh, I am uh, more towards the logistics consultant. Um, I am having a specialization in SD and ML modules, and uh, right now our company is implementing uh, uh, SAC on cloud. So uh, okay. I'm one of the team member who has been assigned the responsibility to take care of this module so that's the reason I'm taking the course and also I do have a little bit of experience in uh, business objects in my past and business intel intelligence but as I see is my first time uh, yeah thanks for uh, your quick intro Abhinav yeah because uh, it seems you are more into I mean to be functional but you are given the option to uh, look after these things and you are here to learn uh, I mean uh, right. what is what is yeah that's good yeah thanks uh, could you please start off from yourself, uh, Alex, about you? Alex, can you hear us? It seems uh, Alex is on mute. Hi, Alex. Uh, could you please, uh, I mean, unmute yourself and uh, brief yourself? I think uh... Alex, are you there? Can you hear our voice? He is still on mute itself. Yeah, uh, by the time he okay jumps in, I can think you can start with Anil, I think. Yeah, Anil, could you please uh, go ahead? Yeah, uh, hey boss, uh, this is Anil. Uh, I know uh, uh, I have an experience uh, of six years in, uh, you know, uh, SAP BA consultant and currently I'm working on HANA. So, whereas, uh, you know, I'm looking for opportunities for SAC uh, to enhance my career. Okay, that's great, Anil. Thanks for the update. Yeah, uh, thanks for that. Uh, I think uh, the other person, can you please uh, start off? I mean yourself. Uh, this is Kamal, I think, yeah. Oh, hi there. Uh, 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 mainly, I've been working with uh, SQL BI Suite. I've been working okay. with SQL, SQL last uh, 15 years in different versions. And I developed many BI uh, tools and application and uh, recently I, le I developed a HANA database view and we are publishing into uh, uh, Microsoft uh, publishing tools uh, mm -hmm. and, we, and uh, uh, same, la same as Abino we have a project to uh, publish the data in SSC at work so this is yeah. the reason I, I want to explore uh, SSC how it works. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that command. Uh, sorry, I'm briefing. Uh, just give me a quick minute. Time. Uh, Alex, can you hear us? 
it seems he is disconnected or he is still on mute. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Alex, I think uh, we are uh, running out. We, you, we can have uh, your intro uh, you know, by the time once you are able to unmute or you are able to connect or hear us. Thank you, team. So I am just starting off uh, with the SAP Analytics Cloud demo. So as you, we all know, SAP Analytics Cloud okay, is an SAP okay, tool cloud-based tool okay. so from as it's an sap or company okay what basically it is used for it is used for bi as you know bi stands for business intelligence okay i mean uh, because many of you are coming from uh, background so if you ask me what is bi so it's a business intelligence business intelligence uh, if you ask me what exactly is again business intelligence it is a combination of many things okay more specifically, it's a reporting and uh, visualization. In short, I can say many things. So BI is okay. It's a part of uh, entire data warehousing. Okay, BI is BW activity. We speak of because uh, many people who are into this call, they are already uh, you know having more than okay eight plus years of experience, but have executed a lot number of projects okay on SAP and uh, non SAP areas. So I, I don't want to get into complete information about DW in, in detail. So in specific, BI is reporting and visualization. Okay, and we can see it is also okay has the capability of planning and forecasting. If you ask, if you I mean ask me what exactly is planning, I mean so uh, so it's something like um, planning. Okay, planning is part of okay. SAP, okay, I mean BI architecture, I mean BI landscape, I can say. So it's something like, I mean, if I speak something called business planning and consolidation, who are part of this might be able to understand. Uh, uh, say, for example, in small, okay, in simple language, what is BI? Say, for example, we have actual data. Say, for example, uh, I mean, actual data, say, for example, we have a sales for a fiscal year 2019. Say for example, one million, okay, one million dollars. Say one million, okay, say one million, and I want to, okay, uh, plan, okay, for fiscal year 2020, okay, uh, and forecast, forecast the sales, forecast the. And what do you plan? Plan, okay, supply or material, whatever we can call it as. And forecast the, okay, demand or FI. So how to do this? So, I mean, with the actual data, we'll plan, okay, material and we can forecast the demand or whatever. This is nothing but, okay, uh, in simple, okay, this is a planning activity. So SAC also provides the capability of planning, not only with the, BA. So BA actually, what BA actually does, it is going to just, okay, present. So if you ask me what actually BA is going to do, so it is going to report, going to report actuals. Report the actual data. I think you can see here planning, I mean in planning, we take the actual data, okay, we use some sort of techniques and based on that, we plan the material or the supply based on the demand for 2020 and that what exactly is the demand okay we can come up with the demanding activity based on some sort of calculations available here so that is the advantage of okay sac and any other okay uh, bi tool in the market uh, we have a lot many tools we can name it as a, okay a tableau or clicksense or msbi many things but on the sap part this is the first tool okay where they have a combination of okay uh, i mean a single user interface they have a combination of bi part and planning part okay so uh, having said that uh, i just want to walk through okay this is the basic information about sac so next thing is i just walk want to walk through okay uh, how exactly the sac okay i mean uh, architecture is designed i mean uh, so that you know you people can easily understand uh, the things Yes, so this is how the SAC architecture, uh, okay, platform architecture is designed. 
So it is purely built on SAP HANA Cloud Platform. On top of that, we have SAP Analytics Cloud application. Okay. That means there, is, there aren't any installations of in our local systems. It is purely cloud-based. We, we need to get, okay, uh, I mean, access from SAP, SAP team itself or URL-based access. Okay. Which is hosted on cloud. SAP HANA Cloud platform. You can call it as HCP in short for our understanding. So this is about okay basic okay platform. Okay. And next thing is I just want to walk through the landscape. So if I at all want to want to I mean if at all I just want to walk through the landscape. Here is a landscape that has been designed here. I mean for your understanding. So the landscape is pretty simple here uh, now. So this is the okay landscape in a higher level, which I will be uh, digging you at Excel in uh, okay border format. So how landscape was designed? So first part we have something called data source, and the entire data source. I mean whatever can be the data source. The data source need to be modeled. Hence I am representing here some sort of modeling here. And finally we have something called presentation. So this is high level presentation of access any data source, model the data and go for HAC presentation. Okay. Uh, friends, I am going to give you a couple of minutes after okay walking through the detailed okay SA landscape, sorry, SAC landscape, which I am going to show in the Excel part so that many of you have uh, more, more queries in your mind. So that you can uh, raise your queries and I will answer them. Okay, this is high level. So data source, modeling, and presentation. I'm digging deeper into this, higher into okay, uh, one level down so that we can understand this. So you can see here, on the left hand side, all the source systems I am mentioning can be a database, any database. We can name any database, say from Oracle Corporation, Oracle or Teradata, Teradata Corporation, SQL Server from Microsoft, HANA database from SAP. Any big data application, any SAP application in the sense it can be ERP system, it can be BI system, okay, it can also be something like SAP HANA system, anything. And any cloud like, uh, okay, I mean any uh, cube like data, it can be SAP BW cubes or HANA cubes or uh, Microsoft uh, cubes, uh, SSI, okay, uh, that is SSI uh, cubes or it can be Oracle Hyperion cubes. and Next thing is we see something called legacy data means any data that is coming in the form of okay uh, I can say any data in the form of or uh, if I'm going to highlight this so any data that is coming in the form of okay so that files that is Excel or CSV files and finally you see something called any cloud application data so, so source systems these are all the source systems I mean I don't say these are all these are all the uh, okay categories of sources under database category we can pull from any database big data application we can pull from big data any big data and any flat file any sort of Excel CSV XML format any cloud application it can be Salesforce or it can be say for example Amazon Web Services based cloud or Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure Cloud or SAP Cloud so means these are the different categories of okay data available here and sources not available here and we can pull in the system so once this okay data source is available next part is so what we can do is use this data sources and finally what I am doing is I am going to okay connect these data sources I am defining data source connection so once my data source so data source connection with what SAC okay modeling here SAC modeling okay is nothing but simple language for your understanding it is nothing but cleaning so what exactly if you ask me cleaning means okay so we have two things here in SAC okay so connect to data source connect to any data source next step is okay model the data so if you ask me what exactly is model data clean it clean the duplicates or we can say uh, clean okay say for example uh, invalid data 
or unformatted data whatever you call it as okay. others okay other cleaning modes okay uh, this is about okay cleaning here so but this is general language for our understanding what exactly we are do we are defining some model as part of modeling we are defining some model how do you define a model again so again i am coming back so how do you define a model so more specifically i see many people are uh, coming into from different background okay so modeling how do you define modeling you see modeling is nothing but okay cleaning the data or organizing the data organizing the data okay as per our sac needs so how we are organizing the data by defining okay a container hold the tensor data so what is container here so container is nothing but a model so how we define a model i mean what exactly okay if you can ask me what exactly is okay model so i'm just getting back to i mean people coming from different backgrounds i want to make you sure by looking at this so i see uh, for your understanding how i define a model in sac you want to okay well uh, navigate with okay i want to compare with okay business objects so that okay you can easily understand if you can look across people coming from bw background in bw also or ba we call it as in ba also we are doing some sort of modeling here if you can see here so modeling is nothing but in bw level we are pulling from data from sab ecc system or underlying database in bi we are defining something called info providers okay info providers which holds actually objects info objects so once i mean as part of this modeling we clean i mean we clean the data and we are going to present the data which is suitable for our thing so what we do in uh, bw using the back stores okay this is bw based modeling similarly we have something called okay bo based okay so if you look at this bo based so here also the same thing we pull the data from different different data sources we are going to define some modeling and do some modeling part that modeling is nothing but we define some universes here we define i mean what what exactly actually universe holds it holds classes and objects after cleaning data we are going to store the data our container is uh, the container here is universe which holds class and objects that is used for your reporting i hope this is clear okay same thing that what we do in okay hana also similar concept what we are implementing in okay, in sac also so here we are what we are doing is we are okay cleansing the data as per our needs and defining something called model which is much similar to universe in bo okay, info provider in bw okay a model in hana and here also we call it as model which actually holds data in the form of objects nothing but dimensions and measures so this is uh, how okay i hope uh, i am able to what exactly is a model a container i mean is a container which holds okay which holds objects okay objects again objects can be object types can be a uh, dimension uh, it can be a measure okay so these are the things so once so once we have the data once we have the data available okay in this model that is ready for our presentation presentation as i told so bi tool is nothing but so you can get back here what exactly is sac it is a combination of business intelligence part we do reporting and visualization so here i am presenting something called i mean presentation here the visualization here and is it possible to do okay visualization also yes it has the capability of okay reporting also so hence it is a combination of presentation reporting and visualization so yeah this is in brief about okay this sap landscape so i just want to take pass here uh, for whatever the i mean <clears throat> uh, presentation i went to 
and I want to hear some uh, queries from your end. You can raise one after another. You can raise the queries by unmuting yourself. Uh, he both I I have a few questions. Uh, uh, like for example, uh, what is uh, like better in this SAC if we compare it from the conventional models of BI, BW, and BO of SAP? That is my question number one. The other question is um, how it is better from other modeling tools in the market, like uh, for example, Power BI or any other tool available in the market. What's the difference? Okay, uh, difference of okay. Uh, I I sorry. I can't hear anything. There is no volume. Yep, same here. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had some issues. Yes. So, major difference is, as I told you, it's a cloud-based modeler tool. And second thing is, it is a potential. It has a potential of okay, BI modeling and BI planning. We are predicting which you don't have in any other tools in any other SAP tools starting from BW or I mean uh, we have some uh, okay uh, flavor in HANA but not either in view also that is the first thing I lost your second query could you please uh, again uh, okay uh, raise your second query uh, so the second uh, query is how it's different correct. from the other uh, tools available in the market like for example Power BI and uh, the other tools like different analytical tool how it's different yes. from other tools here yeah. analytical tools in the market yes so yes uh, I mean first thing is uh, SAC is uh, I mean basically okay should look after SAP tool means for SAP customers first of all this because the second thing is when compared SAC with other tools uh, I can say uh, say for example SAC with other tools uh, so SAC other BI tools so by default by default SAC is okay a cloud okay by default cloud so this is about this. See, see, that's many other tools, whatever is other tools are by default out. Okay. Okay. Desktop based. Okay. I mean, the reason if I, what I mean to say is architecture wise, it is cloud based application. And next thing is supports. Okay all SAP uh, tools uh, applications okay. support to SAP applications is limited this is what I can say and next the major thing is BI as planning okay no tool in the market no tool in market supports so, uh, what do you mean by BI and planning? I, I didn't get it exactly. Uh, BI activity and planning activity. I mean to say. Okay. 
BI part and planning part if you get back okay so it means by using actual data we go for normal reporting uh, this is something like this what exactly is this so so it is something like so BI planning is nothing but we are going to report the actual data whatever is coming from business and if business asks for and for the future based on the demands based on some okay some algorithm based activity uh, with forecasting concept using the same actual so in planning we don't report the actual but based on actual we go for uh, okay uh, plan uh, for the futures and we project the forecast that's how okay uh, no planning decides okay is that clear I'm just giving you the okay uh, overview okay so these are the major uh, things between uh, SAC and other yeah uh, we have uh, BPS in the BA tool for planning is that correct yes yes it is integrated business planning yeah it, yes BPS it is IBPS okay is is available so it is enterprise BPS from uh, going on okay when we move to cloud that is again dedicated area available for planning specifically for planning without any BA activity enterprise business okay stop okay it is again a separate version and other separate tool that is dedicated for that. Mm -hmm. Apart from SAP Analytics Cloud. So, so the, uh, the cloud means yeah. yeah, cloud means only this is completely URL based, right? So there is no yes. installation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cloud means URL based, no installation. Yes, but true. Uh, yes, any others? Oh, hi, Booz. I, I have a one, I need a one confirmation. Yeah. So, uh, regarding security of the data and the models in SSE, uh, the security inherits from SAP itself into SSE. So, let's say in SAP system, there are finance users they are not allowed to see the sales. So, if I develop sales model, the finance employee won't be able to yeah. see the sales data. Is it true? I don't have to maintain and manage the security in SSE. This is what I don't see. In I use the Power BI. I use the Tableau. Uh, I had to maintain the security in in those tools when data coming from SAP to the HANA yeah. database view. But I, heard, I overheard that SSC inherits the security and automatically disable the data. Yes, it is. It is. SAP security, yes. The answer is yes. It is SAC, it is BO security also and SAC security, SAC level can be defined, okay, if needed. Apart from SAP or BO. Yes, that is leveraged here. You don't Perfect. have to again uh, redefine all the things. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, this, this this seems like a real selling point because I guess yes, yes, most, yes. Of the, most of the organization is has a dilemma of the security that they have to redefine their security if they use some other tool other than SAP tools. Then yeah, yeah, you have to yeah, redefine. So we have security. something called single sign-on. Single sign-on that will uh, you know help of uh, the go ahead. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you for the information. Thank you. Uh, any other uh, queries before moving to my next uh, part? No? It seems no queries. Thanks for that. I am just moving to the uh, next part.
So who actually should learn this uh, okay. tool? So you can see here, starting from, okay, uh, SAP, BW consultant, BO consultant, HANA consultant, BPC consultant, and also non-SAC consultant, non-SAP consultants, okay, who can, who wants to, okay, uh, I mean to say, who wants to get into SAP family with some basic BA knowledge or, okay, uh, basic uh, SQL knowledge can also uh, learn this. So, so uh, the reason why everyone should uh, come down here. So, give a clear idea. SAP, uh, the latest direction, okay, uh, the direction of statement from SAP. So, till 2027, so eight years from now, SAP is going to support BO. It will continue, okay. Having said that, it is not going to okay stop, but but the investments going forward will be more into SAP Analytics Cloud because it is a combination of BI, combination of planning, and also combination of predicting. All these three things they are going to come and okay uh, sit over here. Moreover, it is cloud based. So, do you have any queries on this? Then I can just uh, okay uh, help you out. No. Uh, uh, boss, uh, do we have any similar kind of modeling uh, in uh, SAC also, like in BW, uh, InfoCube or uh, DS4? Uh, yeah, we don't specifically, yes, we have modeling concept, but we don't use uh, uh, the terminology whatever or the info provider here, but we have a single, uh, okay, uh, jig, I mean, single concept called model which holds mm -hmm. all the features, I mean, most of the features. I don't say it is not a replica, but it has the flavor of BW and HANA, and also BO, and uh, on top of that, it has some additional activities. Okay. Okay, yeah. Hi, sorry, one more question. Uh, yeah. How is the performance uh, in SSE? Yes, performance-wise, we don't we don't have to worry because uh, if if I get back, so because it is completely hosted on Hana platform, you don't have to worry about performance. It's very good. Performance-wise, it's very good. It depends on the number of users and the I mean business, uh, uh, I mean uh, content, I mean whatever the business data that you are loading. Uh, from from my perspective, I didn't see okay uh, any uh, I mean issues till now uh, in my projects all these days. Yes, in a couple of areas, I mean uh, when coming to month end activities or year end activities, we do see, but that uh, is part of many tools. We we can be okay managed uh, depending upon user requirement by limiting uh, based on the uh, no, date uh, okay uh, object. I don't see any uh, issues. But there are some basic limitations. And compared to other tools, it is good. So, any others? No? Thanks for that. And so, again, do we need any coding knowledge? Uh, as I said, by default, any SAP person coming from uh, it is SAP functional uh, ERP part, or SAP BI part, or SAP BO part, uh, SAP HANA part, nothing is required. But as I said, if at all, basic knowledge of SQL can help us. Because on ad hoc basis, if at all, we need to go for SQL. Rather than going for model, we can get this thing done. And if at all people coming from non-SAP backgrounds and they want to enter into SAP family with the help of SAP Analytics Cloud tool, having knowledge of database with basic SQL can easily help us. Other than that, uh, everything is good to go. So that's fine. You have any queries, then I can move to the next part. So other than the SQL, uh, we don't require any other coding uh, knowledge, right? ABAP, something like that. No, not required. Not okay. required. So, I mean, we have something called analytic application part that is an advanced version of SAC. 
uh, if having I mean that is based on business case SAC normal SAC supports uh, all most of the activities that are uh, you know, required by business in extensive cases we can go for SAP analytic application that is customized version of SAC there we can uh, you know if having basic script of uh, I mean CSS script can help this is very rare case because we have most of the APIs already built in we just need to pass the variables that is just the initial part okay uh, SAP introduced that in the last year it's, it's uh, just one year old analytics part but most of the areas that SAC implementations are going on in this area zero percent coding is required okay that's it. Uh, no queries. Then I can move to the next part. Both in, in this, I just want to ask one thing. Uh, so in this current current training, uh, are you going to show only the modeling part of the SEC or uh, will you be also showing the creation of the CDS views in the background? Uh, or no. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for asking that. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, we have limitations. Uh, regard to okay, CDS views okay, is concerned. The thing is, uh, no, we can get this uh, SAC <coughs> license, but if at all we need to go with uh, CDS, again, we need to have a dedicated uh, okay license version of uh, okay, SAS is for HANA part. So, and that again, we have, I mean, mo moreover, as for HANA, they are not going to, uh, no, Provided by single user or multi user, that is some some organizational level they are providing. So that is uh, cost effective, and hence, uh, no, I am not going to help with CDS based modeling. But rather, uh, I'll work with uh, many cloud based, even HANA based, okay, and um, other uh, okay, uh, I mean uh, legacy based activities. I'm going to help you out. That is the limitation that we have here. So it's um, the, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. going to be like um, uh, more of more of the modeling part here, right? Or you are also yes. showing? Yeah, it, it, yeah it's completely it. modeling and uh, no storytelling and uh, admin part. I will we'll walk to that next part. Okay. So uh, this is fine. And next thing is, what are the different application modes available here? If you want to ask me. These are the different application modes available. I mean, uh, sorry, in we have something called developer mode. So what exactly is developer mode? If you ask me, uh, all the develop, developer activities, okay? Dev mode goes for developer activities. Say for example, uh, define, okay, uh, connection or use existing connection. The next thing is uh, define, say for example, stories. If you ask me stories in simple, I can say it can be workbook in okay. You can call it as workbook in SAP, or, or you can also call as okay uh, reports or documents okay in BO or say uh, visualizations in any other tool. Other tools means we are using the term stories specifically okay in SAC. It is the term that we should be using and uh, no as usual and admin part so here we define users we define groups and we assign rights okay uh, and say for example uh, we schedule okay uh, data loads and okay distribute okay share information these are all the things that okay as part of uh, dev mode and admin mode so these are two things that I'll be helping out as part of this. Okay. Do we have a real-time reporting here? Uh, uh, real-time reporting, uh, I'm not getting. Could you please clarify a bit? Uh, real-time data. See, whatever data that I'm going to show you, not only on okay some flat file, I'll be pulling data from, okay? multiple okay I can say for example cloud systems okay and hopefully I'll be pulling data from HANA okay database I say HANA system and again we have something called flat files 
so this is how i can present because uh, as we know whatever the business data that is available as part of our demo activities different vendors i am going to help that data pull the data and i am going to leverage all the you know we are going to explore all the options available in ssc with that yeah, uh, no, I, I'm asking like, you know, can we have a real-time reporting in SAC? I mean to say live. Is yeah, it correct. If I correct, correct. Exactly. Yes, yes. It's, yeah, it's 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we have something called, okay, live data, okay, access, and instead we have something called import data access. It depends on, okay, I mean, business to business and organization to organization, we can use both of this, depending upon the requirement. Yes, we can. We call it as data access modes. Okay, yes, we can. Uh, this is in brief about okay uh, SAC about SAC. Uh, I mean uh, <coughs> cloud-based VI, BI, visualization and planning. Who should learn? Any SAP application level consultant and coding part. As I said, no. And this is the landscape. And these are different modes that we are going to discuss. And its duration is 40 hours, and daily it will be a one and a half hour session. So I just want to quickly. Uh, across uh, so what are the other things that I can help out is these are the things that I can help out uh, uh, certification guidance and interview questionnaire if required and uh, I mean basic because this is a new tool you can help out with what are the roles and responses you can come up with and any your clarification I can help out email or whatsapp support and product integration updates so I'm going to help out this one also because what are all the new things or what is the role map not only during the session and okay okay uh, help you out uh, with these things so if you have any queries uh, then please let me know yeah. uh, you are, uh, uh, question on our sessions please let me know thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today